There goes our left starboard engine. Doctor, do something or we're gonna fry. Captain, you know that space travel is an inexact science requiring years of testing and experimentation to even begin to understand the dynamics of a body in motion. And furthermore... Doctor, will you please get us out of here? Oh, very well, Captain. Engineer, press this button with your left hand. And then everyone, hold on to your cookies! And I have taken my medication today. And boy, howdy, do I feel like 18 again. Dr. Cream's almost magical elixir vitae gives you strong bones, fresh breath, and a winning smile. That's nice, Doctor. But what about the analysis? Well, this planet is capable of supporting terrestrial life forms. It has beautiful features, rolling countryside. Thank you, Doctor. It's in more. Report, please. Hi, Captain. Alive in one piece, which is incredible, considering my luck lately. You know? Oh, no, not again. Right. Now I'll have to burn the rest of my week's salary on new clothes. I hate it when this happens. I think it's time to go scope out some real estate. analysis on this. What is it? Looks like a leaf to me. like music.
Yo, O-rings. Caught me chilling like a megaphone. You rip racks boning up a new mystery move, or just sick rippers riding faking on a corduroy. Excuse me? What language is he speaking, Doctor? Analysis in a millisecond, Captain. It seems to be some form of English, previously undiscovered. I shall retain for further analysis. Filthy pops, just loud patter. I reckon you're on the way to see the big curly. Almost. I almost understand. Let's bone air like we mean it. Yes, to the big curly. That must be the big curly. Yes. Let's go. Hmm. I have had enough of you. Any more insubordination, and I'll send you to the reviewing chamber where you'll have to see 149 hey, episodes of Word Doc. Found four streamers while I was getting spongitis. What have I told you about that rap garbage? Get out of here, all of you. Dr. Ignatz Cream, my humble home is honored by your presence. I see you've met my assistant, Lumpy Hatchback. It's been a long time, doctor. You look about as well as could be expected. Dr. Siegfried Svela, so this is where you wound up after you fled from Earth. My crew and I are searching for the Illudium Fosdex atom. It's becoming increasingly rare on Earth as an unfortunate byproduct of that last global nuclear exchange. Which I'm certain upset you tremendously. We were attacked by a ship from my friendly competition, their idea of a hostile takeover. We crashed on this rock, barely escaping with our lives. Dr. Svela, we're at your mercy. Can you help us? Yes, Doctor. I will help you. However, you recall the circumstances that forced me to leave Earth many years ago. I was credited by the Planetary Science Council for my cutting-edge experiments on food additives. I fled to the most remote corner of the galaxy where I would have the freedom I need to... To give mankind a new and improved disodium inosinate and a more flavorful monosodium glutamate? Don't think for a moment, Doctor, that I've forgotten it was the chorus of voices supplied by yourself, Dr. Scholes, Dr. Pepper, Dr. Whoopi, Dr. Goldberg, Dr. Howard, Dr. Finan. Dr. Howard that led me to have my council membership revoked. But that was in the past. You are here and in distress. May I offer you food? Lodging. Shave and a haircut. Two bits! That's very funny, Doctor. I do believe that I and my crew will take you up on your offer. By the way, Doctor, you saw that strange hobby of collecting ancient creatures and keeping them in suspended animation? I'm glad you mentioned that. I can take you and your crew on a guided tour right now. Keep in mind that my monsters are alive and fully aware of their surroundings. However, they are kept in place by a stasis field. Uh, perhaps I should forego this, Captain. I react poorly to monsters. I agree. <laughs> Dr. Spela, could you direct Ensign Moore to her quarters where she could freshen up? Really, my creatures are quite harmless. The stasis field is held in place by a never-varying force field. I can foresee no danger. Dr. Spala, I am the last of a race of immortals. Something inside of my genetic makeup allows me to revive when I die, if my molecules are in close enough physical proximity to reform. However, I never ever reassemble the same way twice. I repeat, I never reassemble the same way twice. And I have been a little clumsy lately. Yeah. So I will have to decline your very kind invitation. Besides, my feet are killing me. Very well, Anson Mort. Your quarters are through that door. Go past the torture chamber, a right past the hanging scaffold, another right past the auto de fe, and your door is the third one on the left. Here's your key. Dinner is at eight. And please don't feed the prisoners, thank you. 
Yeah. Yeah. Prisoners? Hanging scaffolds? Torture chambers? What exactly are you doing here, Doctor? You've got to understand, Doctor, in order to make an omelet, you need to break a few heads. There's only one thing that people on this planet understand, and that's force. And so that's what I give them. Force. And a little entertainment. Shows nightly, almost always standing room only. You are as You are too kind. We can't thank you enough for your generosity. Please lead on, Doctor. Dear friends, my entire life has been dedicated to the pursuit and capture of Earth's rarest and most misunderstood creature, the so-called monster. You have the unique privilege of viewing, in complete safety, my entire collection. Behold! Meet Count Dracula, one of the cruelest and most terrifying monsters of all time. At his prime- Wait a minute, wait a minute. How can a vampire survive during the daylight without turning to dust? Because unlike Earth, this strange planet's atmosphere filters out beams of light that can kill a vampire. It also allows creatures that would otherwise be dormant to thrive in daylight. Anyway, at his prime, Dracula was a monarch of Transylvania. He's since fallen on hard times. When I found him, he was employed by that ancient Earth institution, the IRS, determining new types of taxes to levy. Very tragic. Yeah. This is Frank and Bean's monster, another tragic case. After a so-so career as a masked professional wrestler, this monster decided to go into a law practice with Tonto and Tarzan. They never won a single case. Here we have Yo Homeboy, the ancient mummy. Don't touch the monsters! Once he was a fraternal member of the Egyptian royal house until that fateful day when he suffered a tiny papyrus cut. Unfortunately for him, the royal physician was on vacation at that time. His half-witted nephews, Mohammed, El Lari, and Ras Al Curly happened to be filling in for him. You can see the results for yourself. Next, we have Larry Two Bits. He doesn't look so tough. The werewolf. Larry suffered his curse, traveling aimlessly from place to place in search of a cure, but to no avail. Whenever the moon was full, he would transform into his lycanthropic alter ego. Frustrated, angry, he sought the only escape that would give him peace. He decided to take his own life and to do it in a most horrible way. You don't mean... Yes, continuous viewings of every episode of The Brady Bunch. When I found him, I thought his mind was completely gone. Horrible. And, finally, here's the Invisible Man. Where? I don't see him. Of course you don't see him, you imbecile. He's invisible. Oh, yeah? Well, Doc, I got some news for you, smart guy. If you don't cut it out, you're going to see my visible fist. Will, Will. Thanks for the tour, Doctor. Hold on, Doc Well, the horse fly shining no more? If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. Don't talk that gibberish to me. Twenty years at Yale Med. Four different jars. And you think you would have absorbed something. Sorry, Doc. It's time to contact you know who. Agreed. Convenient of Cream to put himself in our hands. It's like I've always said, good things happen to bad people. <laughs> I just kicked myself. Snail, what do you and that half-wit assistant want now? 
More credits or more victims for your cockeyed experiments? No, sir. I have great news. Dr. Cream and his crew are here. We have them. Wonderful. I always knew I could count on you to come through for me. Now, I want you to keep them amused until my men get there. Then we'll pump Cream for all of his secrets and discard him like a used Barbaron can. Oh, I can just see the company profits increasing by the second. Yes, sir. I have an almost overwhelming feeling of corporate pride. Now calm down, Svela. Don't pop a rivet. Just keep them busy till my men get there. Then you can do whatever you want with this crew. Yes! Thank you, sir! man from the museum. He turned into that horrid monster. He tried to kill me. I'm sorry. I get a little funny in the head sometimes. It's my curse. Even a man who is pure at heart and says his prayers by night to become a wolf when the wolf thing blooms and the moon is full and bright. Does everybody in the galaxy know this? Listen, you and your crew have bigger worries than me. Savile is in Professor Wildroot's pocket, and he sent troops down to the planet to capture Dr. Cream. The rest of you are going to end up being test subjects in one of Savile's crazy fruit additive experiments. What do we do? Savile's guards will be here any second. Create a diversion. I don't know. Uh, hey, release the rest of the monsters like you did with me. I really don't know how I did it. Just press every button and get out of Dodge as fast as you can. Wait a minute. Savela has a ship. Go past the hanging scaffold. Then take a left, and then another left past the guillotine. But don't lose your head. Then type the code word COMQUAT at the control panel, and the hangar doors will open. What about you, Larry? I'm done for, kid. Besides, I haven't been the same since a Brady Marathon. In fact, I think I'm going to be sick just thinking about it. All right, Larry. Thanks. Just. Go! I don't entirely trust Spela. When he was on Earth, he was always a little eccentric, but now that he's had this prolonged isolation from civilization, he's become even stranger. Yeah, I'd say. Anybody that sells box seats to a torture chamber what? is definitely eccentric. Captain! Swill Cream! More! More! Svela is on Wildview's payroll. He's planning to kidnap the doctor, and use us for his experiments. Well, that's just the way my life's been going. I know we can use a ship to get out of here. But first, we need a diversion. We need to come up with an idea. Hey, 
wait a minute. I've got an idea. Why don't we uh, get together and check out? <laughs> Busting loose. I'm taking you back to chill time. By what right do you keep me and my fellow monsters in prison? I'm a free man! You're number six on the Alicard. I'm going back to do number two. Chirino's spinning a blaze. Better scoop him up in a jiff or we'd be out of business. Guards! 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 Get my monsters!
Stop! The two! No, the other two! tell you, but it would make you blow chunks. I feel bad for the poor villagers with all those fiends running loose. But, better them than me. Well, what villagers? Savannah only had those tortured implements for show. The only human subjects were the ones that Wild Root brought. Oh, and uh, by the way, I wouldn't fly by any full moons on the way home. Oh, 